What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I want to cover Solana as it is starting to get a little bit of a move to the upside and we're actually sitting at a key price target that we were looking for on our live stream last night at 5:45. So in today's video, I want to talk about why Solana's pumping, where we're sitting at and why this level we're hitting right now is so significant, what we were looking at to anticipate price getting to this level last night, and then most importantly, what most of you guys are probably here for and that's those next price targets to the upside for Solana. So guys, here we are on the Solana chart and obviously as you can see, we have gotten a pretty significant move up here in the past day or so, even the past two days, we've gotten a pretty significant move up as Solana has been on an absolute tear. So last night on my live stream, guys, we were looking at something very specific on the charts that was calling for some more potential upside and yes, it had everything to do with this door to higher prices. Now, I use many different techniques to find these doorways to higher prices prices and typically when we have one of these on the chart we will see price kind of tap its head on these levels but as soon as we're able to decisively break through it we oftentimes see a big move to the upside now yesterday Solana started excitingly cracking this key level which is the doorway to higher prices and I'll get a little bit more into what that level actually is and why it was making us anticipate higher prices for Solana but you can see here we also had a naked point of control but that was just more as a level of resistance so I'm gonna go ahead and hide that for now but as you can see we were able to crack over this doorway way to higher prices yesterday and we wound up flipping this level to support and then getting the bigger move to the upside now on top of just the fact that we had a doorway to higher prices here we also had a green dot on market cipher b right here which oftentimes will give you a big move to the upside and then on top of that we also had our two-day green dot as well as our green dot on the three-day confirmed right so not only were the higher time frames potentially looking for more upside on solana we also knew that we were actually starting to hit a very key level right here at about $80, eventually looking to flip that to support and come up to our next price target, which actually is sitting here at about $91.14. And you can see we actually are starting to, well, we hit this level and now we are starting to break above it. Now, I want to talk a little bit about number one, why we were looking for a move up here. And then number two, again, why you guys are probably here, what the next targets for Solana are likely going to be. But as we've been calling for these prices for Solana over the past week or so, I want to help the Candle Mafia learn how we actually find these levels and how we anticipate these moves before they happen. Because as you know, if you know what price is going to do before it moves, you can make some money whether it's going up or down. So you guys can see as Solana was approaching our previous value area, you could see I pulled this range from an old area of consolidation. We used the fixed range volume profile to find out where our key levels were, the value area low, POC and value area high. And then we extrapolated those levels all the way to the current price action as we were starting to approach the level. So obviously this happened over the past two days, but before we broke through, we were actually banging our head on this level of resistance. Now, when you're approaching an old value area like this, or as I like to call these naked value areas because once we left this range, none of these levels were tapped again, right? Making these levels quote unquote naked. So as you come up and you approach these levels and you start knocking on the door of this previous value area low, because that's oftentimes what these doorway to higher prices are, they're simply the value area low of an old range. And we know if you're able to break above that value area low, hold it as support, the next likely place for price to go is that's right, the POC or essentially for the most part, oftentimes the midpoint of the range. And this was the exact theory that we were looking at last night on the live stream, looking for Solana to push up to this next level. Now, obviously, as we started breaking this level yesterday, we did, like I said, have that fresh green dot on the daily. So that was helping us anticipate the move up. But we knew that if that green dot was able to push us above this level, we would likely be able to flip this to support and get a move up to the POC. And what has happened since then, obviously, we have come up and now we are currently interacting with this point of control as we speak. So this just shows the power of the volume profiles, guys, and it just goes to show how you can use these previous naked value areas and extrapolate the old levels to the current price action, and oftentimes you will see these levels respected. This is how we've accurately called the price targets of so many altcoins during this run, and of course, I like to say I have a crystal ball or, you know, I'm the best trader, I'm the best analyst, etc., uh, but it's simply just not true, guys. The reason we're able to find these levels is based off the analysis that we teach for free every single day on this channel. Once we are able to flip this piece, POC to support decisively with higher time frame candle closes above, the next likely place for price to go is going to be that value area high sitting at about $107. So in my opinion, guys, 
if we are able, right? Trading and technical analysis is usually an if this, then that statement. It is not just because we are above this POC does not mean we are just going to instantly moon to the value area high. But if price comes up and starts flipping this POC to support, more than likely, we will start our journey to that value area high, again, getting us to that $107 target. So I do think if we're able to flip this POC, $100 Solana is definitely going to be in the cards here for the near future, which would give us a lot of confidence to hit that $100 target or $107 target. And guys, even the higher time frames are starting to look like they are in agreement of another move to the upside for Solana here, as we now have a fresh green dot printing on the weekly time frame with our fresh money flow crossover into the green. Remember, these weekly money flow crossovers are nothing to scoff at because they typically indicate that a longer term uptrend is likely to continue as long as that money flow keeps coming up into the green. Now, you guys might be saying to yourself, Frankie Candles, what happens if we flip that POC to support and we wind up getting a very big move to the upside and we wind up breaking out of our current volume profile? So if we come up here, flip this level to support, come up to the value area high, and then we break out of that value area high, what would be the next target to look at above? Because... Because when Solana moves like this, sometimes she likes to move a lot. So we have to be prepared if we wind up breaking out of that range. And simply put, guys, what I would be looking at would be this kind of area right here. And it's this purple box which sits between $134.70 and about $121.77, where we have not only our macro 786 Fibonacci retracement level when pulled from the all-time bull market high all the way to our current bear market low, but we also have the value area low of this area of consolidation from the top of the bull market in 2021, where we peaked out on Solana at about $260.00. Will we break those all-time highs? Potentially. I do think Solana is definitely not a dead project. They are continuing to build through the bear market, and I do expect Solana to continue up into the next bull run. Now, this is not financial advice. Sure, Solana could go to zero. It almost went to zero one time already. Uh, but I do believe that Solana will continue to grow throughout the next bull market. But, guys, we also have, besides that 786 Fibonacci retracement level, we also have the value area low of our macro range, which at that point, we could also treat just like we're treating this area of consolidation. We could look at this as some kind of a range, and once you're able to get above that value area low, that will be the next doorway to higher prices once you get up to that value area low right here. And then once you flip that to support, you could begin your journey to the top of that range, which brings you up to that $200 level. Now, guys, I'm not saying Solana's on its way to $200 right now, but I'm not going to lie. I felt kind of crazy calling for $100 Solana before we got a break into this range. And now it seems pretty likely. So this is not financial advice, guys. Nobody knows what's going to happen in the markets, but this is how we were able to predict these price targets. And these are now the key levels I would be looking at to the upside. So watch out for that $100 Solana. And if we start breaking those levels, you could look up towards that next 786 Fibonacci retracement level, getting closer to about $123.77. And with all that being said, guys, I think that's all the time I got for today's Solana update. I just wanted to let everybody know where we were pumping to, why we were pumping, and what we're expecting next because i know when we get moves up like this everybody gets frantic and super bullish and i don't want anybody fomoing in at the wrong time so with all that being said candle mafia that's all the time i got for today's solana update i'll see you guys in the next one frankie candles out. here we go at the top of the glass on a roll and it's time to run it up yeah you know maxed out put the pedal to the floor hey on a roll here we go here we go yeah we winning by a landslide Never see me coming on my landmine. Yeah, I ain't taking orders in command line. Yeah, you about to see me under me.